Good evening. The tradition is nothing without innovation. Innovation is nothing without the tradition. They go hand in hand. We need innovation to keep our music and culture moving forward, to keep the interest of young people. We need the tradition because it's what we love. It's what's in our hearts. It's why we're part of it all. Strathby and Presidial Society features four compositions, all based on traditional elements of the Strathby and Real Society, that were first debuted at Celtic Connections 2016. You will hear ideas that may or may not be heard again. <laughs> it doesn't matter though, because it's about moments, little things that can change paths or spark an idea in someone else that they will take to the next level. The composers tonight are Jennifer Austin, Aidan O'Rourke, Shona Mooney, and me, Simon Tunia. Tonight's musicians are Katrina Price, Patsy Reed, Graham Rory, Graham McKenzie, Madeleine Stewart, Mary Campbell, Ross Cooper, Laurie Watson, Bernadette Kellerman, Aidan O'Rourke, Rona Wilkie, Mary McKinnon, Sally Simpson, Shona Mooney, Carly Blaine, Ryan Young, Laura Wilkie, Daniel Thorpe, Lauren McCall, and Innes Watson. You won't get a chance to see a much better lineup of Scots fiddlers on a stage. Let's have a hand for them, please. <laughs> I'd like to thank Creative Scotland and Celtic Connections for their belief in this project. It wouldn't have happened without them. Also, a huge thanks to Scots Fiddle Festival in their 20th year for giving us the opportunity to perform the music again. To get us started, can you welcome to the stage our fabulous conductor, Dave Milligan? <laughs> First piece, can you welcome composer Jennifer Austin? Hello. Hello. Um, my piece is called Disassembled and it's made up of six tunes which uh, covered last year's Christmas presents. So the first one was is called Drum Time and that was written for my dad. Um, because when we're on holiday, dram time happens at one o'clock, lunchtime. <laughs> Not much else happens. And then the second tune is called The Swell in Our Toe, which is nothing to do with our toe. But if you're a surfer, apparently you're not allowed to say where you, where you really surf. Um, and then the second tune is called Disassembled. And the idea behind that one was to take some of the sounds, maybe some more of the unmusical sounds of a Strathbean reel, and try and make a piece out of them. So things like fiddle tuning, or squeaking, or squeaking. Um, it's not that bad, I hope. You could be the judge of that. And then the third tune was written for my mum, mum's Christmas present. Um, and I didn't have a name for it until the day of printing and mum had really w wanted to see one of these birds called a little lock and she saw one just on the day that I was going to, to the print. Anyway, the fourth um, part of the piece is made up of the last two tunes. Um, the first one is called Lulu and the Girls and that was for my granny Pam as um, in a, she used to have a farm in Caithness called the Rumster Farm and she's really fond of her cows and she had pretty good names for them. Um, so Lulu, Primrose, Rosemary and um, Mirabelle. And then the final tune um, is written for my boyfriend Mike and it's uh, called Freckles. Those of you who know him will know the, the reason why. Um, and it's a pretty happy tune. So that's that's the wall. I'll stop speaking now. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
So my piece is up next, and um, it kind of consists of two, two kind of sections. I, I wrote, I wrote this between Christmas and New Year uh, last year on the Isle of Mull in a little cottage in Kintra on the south southwest end of, of Mull. Really beautiful spot, even in December. And uh, my days kind of consisted of uh, getting up, going for a walk down to the beach, looking on, onto the island of Erid, and uh, occasionally going for a swim, pretty cold swim, walking back to Kitra and uh, writing, writing this music. It's called A it's called Hundred Days, and it kind of tells the story of the, the, the previous hundred days leading up to Christmas, which were quite, uh, quite eventful. So this is 100 Days.
so it's my turn for my piece. Um, my piece is called For All That Variation, and um, it's based on two traditional tunes, and um, they're also very famous songs by Robert Burns. Oh, we've got a little phone ring. <laughs> You'll know them. Um, the first one is called Scots Wahey, and the second one is called A Man's a Man for All That. And um, I was kind of looking for some inspiration in how to bring these two tunes together. And um, as I was on the internet and searching around, getting lost on YouTube, and I uh, came across some uh, sub Saharan African musicians playing, and I got really interested in the, the cross rhythms. and. Uh, I was really surprised to find out that actually they don't have any words in their language um, to, well, like an equivalent word to uh, music or rhythm. They just, um, music for, for them is basically a way of life. Um, and they, they get together and play these rhythms three against two um, to kind of, kind of deal with life's problems. And um, so I've, I've kind of incorporated some of that in there. And uh, I also wrote two different endings for the piece and I asked the whole group to vote on it so um, they, they went for the first ending so that's what we're going to do tonight so this is for all that variation <laughs>
to write. It's a, the set that says to me, Strasby and Real Society, and that's Mrs. McLeod, The Fairy Dance, and Deal Among the Tailors. <laughs> Great three tunes, totally fantastic. And I, I took the ideas of them and I put them all together. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed our set tonight. We've loved playing to you. Uh, thanks to Murray and his team on the sound. Done a great job. <laughs> We're really looking forward to Adam Sutherland Band next. He sounded fabulous in the sound check. And actually, in the interval, Adam's got his uh, brand new tune book. So, definitely worth a purchase. So, here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 